In this video, we're going to have a look at the Tineco Floor One S3. Now, I know normally in on my YouTube channel, we don't really look at vacuum cleaners and hoovers and if we do they're normally robot vacuum cleaners but today we're having a look at this one but this is a smart cordless vacuum and wash cleaner so it's wet and dry vacuum cleaner so and it's a smart one and smart it is indeed now if you've been watching my videos for a long time you know that I don't normally get shocked or impressed by products there's not many products out there that make me go wow this actually made me go wow it's pretty cool and I know it's just a vacuum cleaner, but this ain't no ordinary vacuum cleaner. This is a very, very cool vacuum cleaner. So, this is it. It's by Tineco. It's called the Floor 1 S3. Uh, it's featuring multiple technologies. So, it's got a technology called iLoop Smart Sensor Technology, which is that logo over there. Uh, that is basically technology that it basically senses the floor and it sees if it's wet or dry and it sees how dirty it is and from there on it will decide how much water to spray out onto the floor how much cleaning solution and how much vacuum power or suction power it should do which is insane like to have technology like that where it chooses for you where it needs to use its most power and it makes it more energy efficient and decides where to save its battery or where to save the solution liquid so you don't waste it all genius so it's a vacuum and wash, it's cordless, yes, it is easy to lift and manoeuvre, 100%. It's also got a self-cleaning feature where it cleans on its own, which is insane. Um, I'm not going to go through the unboxing because I don't want to long the video out and make it boring and anything. I'm just going to go straight into the product and say what comes with it. So you've got the vacuum cleaner, you've got a deodorising cleaning solution that comes with it, you've got two brush rollers, one obviously you're using and one spare. You have two filters inside and you have one free and one cleaning tool which is for cleaning. Um, the vacuum cleaner if it ever gets dirty, if it gets clogged up. You've got a charging base and you've got the adapter. That's pretty much everything that comes in it. Uh, more features on the back over here. You do have an LED display, so it does have like a little LED display screen on the actual vacuum cleaner, which is pretty impressive as well. That's the whole iLoop features there. That's got the whole control unit and the iLoop system and you know the ECU, whatever that runs the vacuum cleaner. That's all in this display. Uh, it's 2.5 stronger uh, suction than iFloor. So it's got more uh, suction power. Uh, it's got up to 35 minutes of run time, which is actually about right. From where I've tested it, it is actually about 35 minutes one time. Uh, great for pet hair, cleans multiple sealed surfaces, hardwoods, tiles, laminate. And I actually used it on carpet as well. Now this is a hard floor vacuum cleaner, but I used it on carpet and it actually worked very fine. I will, I will go through that as well with you guys. Um, it's cordless, lightweight, blah blah blah. It's got two tank system, so it's got on the top a cleaning clean tank and it's got a dirty tank. Um, again, I'm gonna go through all of this, and of course, it's a smart, it's a smart vacuum cleaner, so it works with the app as well. And that's pretty much it with the box. It comes with two year warranty and yada yada yada. So let's move this box out of the way and let's actually have a look at the actual device. There it is, right there. This is the vacuum cleaner. We're gonna get a closer look at it, and I'm gonna bring it closer to us. Um, so it comes with two of these rollers, one's currently on the machine right now as you can see right there and we've got one over here, spare one. We've got the three in one cleaning and it's also got a blade here, now the blade is quite hard to actually pull out but there's a blade there to basically cut hairs and stuff and this cleaning one right here. We've got this cleaning solution from Tineco themselves which I'm just going to go through with you right now without dropping it. And then we got two of these filters. It's cool. So let's go through some of the features. So <clears throat> sorry about my voice. I've been losing my voice recently. Um, if I pull over here, press and pull, little twist. This here is where the clean water goes. So you fill up warm water or cold water. It doesn't really matter. Up to the maximum line, and then you put one lid full of this cleaning solution and that's that ready to go 
And then you can just simply slot that back in, like so, and it will clip in place. Very, very sturdy, it's very, very good build quality, it's very easy to use. At the bottom over here is the dirty tank water. This is your filter. Your filter you'd wash out and leave it to dry. Your dirty tank, as you can see I've already been using it and you can see it's accumulated quite a lot of dirt there already, look at that. Uh, your dirty tank, you basically want to empty it out. 100% uh, do empty this because you will get mould and dirt coming up on this. So you do want to keep this nice and clean and empty. So I'm going to clean and empty this out in just a bit before we start. Right, so I'm just going to spill it over here. Right, right there. Look at that. Right, so I'm going to try it on auto first. Just turn the device on. And you can hear it says auto mode. Oh my god, it picked up straight away. So you see over here, here will symbolize wherever it sees something dirty. So right now it's picking up clean four. Now when I went past the actual spillage, it actually picked it up as uh, some dirt over there. So it went purple here to pick it up, showing me that there's some dirt. So if I do it again, just to show you guys. So I created a spill over there. If I can try and show you where it will, it will turn purple when it picks it up. I'm not sure if you could see that, but it turned a little bit purple there. So depending on how dirty the floor is and how much the sensor picks up, it will turn all purple to say how dirty it is. And we're using around 25% of power. This is maximum power right here. We're using about 25% over here. 50 around there, 75 there, and 100% obviously around there. Uh, it is Wi-Fi enabled as well, you can connect to the device via Wi-Fi, I'm just going to turn it down so you guys can hear me a lot better. Uh, the Wi-Fi button is simply there, you just press and hold there and it will connect. Uh, it's very easy to do, all you've got to do is download the Taneco app. Uh, the Taneco app is very, very simple and easy to use, it is a very good app. Uh, the machine is quite loud, so I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me sometimes. Um, but I want you to hear it and be able to know what it's like in real life, so when you're hearing it on camera, and you can't hear me, that's pretty much what it's like on like, real life. So, this is the Tineco app, very simple to use. As you can see here, there is my floor cleaner. Uh, it says on there, water saved about 0.08 liters. Uh, total used, I've used it for about 24 minutes. That was from the last usage. I can mute it from the app, so it doesn't talk to me anymore. I can choose what settings I want, auto, or max power, or self cleaning. I can choose everything, I can see how the clean water tank is. Clean water tank's normal right now. Dirty water tank's normal, battery percentage is 96%. I can see everything on this, so it's really, really good. And also you can see the last time you've used it and also track it as well. Everything is on this app. A excellent app. Really, really easy to connect, really easy to do. As soon as you open the app, it will say add device, click on that and it will go through everything for you, how to do it, how to connect it. Very, very easy. You simply just scan the barcode on the back of the uh, vacuum cleaner. So, it's done a really good job cleaning up the mess on the floor over there. So that was on auto mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on max mode now and we're going to spill a little bit more. Like that is quite a considerable amount now. Now I'm going to put on max mode and see how it does it straight away. So that's auto mode. If I press the button again, now it's on maximum mode. It's a lot louder on maximum mode. And it's gone. Simple as that, it's completely gone. Uh, if I check the floor, it's only a little bit wet and it's not wet from the, the drink that I spilled. It's actually because of the cleaning solution. So that is just the cleaning solution that's made it wet. And it's not only a little bit and it will dry up very soon. So it's done quite a bit there as well. So we've only cleaned that much. Let's see how much you picked up from the dirty water tank. Look at that. It's picked up that much. It's literally sucked pretty much all the juice that I dropped right there. So, we're going to continue using this. We're going to go to a few different surfaces now. So we know it's really good on marble flooring. Uh, we're going to try out tile flooring. And instead of spilling stuff, I'm just going to use it in general. Just use it around. Uh, so the actual device will spray water. I'm going to use it in maximum mode so the device can spray a lot of water. And I'm just going to use it around the house. Use it on different flooring and use it on carpet. We're going to use it on normal tiles, uh, some wood flooring, and we're going to see how it performs and see how much dirt it actually starts to pick up. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Right, we're now on some tile surface over here. Uh, so this is uh, in my kitchen, this is just tile. Yeah, we're going to see how it performs on the tile now. So before it was marble, now we're going to see how it performs on tile. Uh, again, I'm going to put it, I'm going to do this half in uh, auto mode and this half in max mode. So we're going to put it in auto mode. So you can see over there, it actually picks it up as purple. So if I actually do all of it, it will show you guys. Okay, look, it picked up there. So that means it's picked up that the floor is actually dirty in that section. Simple as that. So yeah, you see the blue dials over here. You can see that little bit went purpley red color around here. That means it's picked up that much dirt on the floor, which was obviously our spillage that we created. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much cleaned the floor. Um, it's not sticky. It's a little bit wet, but that's because of the cleaning solution, but it's not sticky, so that means it's done its job. So that we can now leave that to dry, and it will dry in about a few minutes because there's not much of water that sprays out of this machine. But that's it on tiles, so it does a really good job on tiles as well. Uh, another one we're going to try out on a little bit of carpet and see if we can actually perform on carpet. Okay, so we are now on a carpet surface. We're going to try and see if it actually works on here. And it does work pretty fine. Obviously, because it is a vacuum cleaner as well, it does pick up some small stuff. Uh, small hair, small fibers. But mainly it picks up a lot of dust from carpet. So it's really good for cleaning carpet actually for dust. I know it's not made for that. It's actually made for hard floors. But from what I've noticed and what I've tested, it actually picks up a lot of dust from carpet. So if you sit here for a little while, clean the whole carpet area, it actually cleans up a lot, a lot of dust from your carpet. And it also cleans up a little bit of stains as well. So if you have a few carpet stains, it does clean them up as well. But as you can see, it's working completely fine on the carpet here as well. Obviously, you want to keep it air cooled, the room, you want to have a fan on, or you want to keep doors and windows open, because you're going to wet the carpet, so you do want it to cool down. Now we are now on some laminate wood flooring, uh, sorry about the lighting in this room, it is quite bad. Uh, but now we're going to do orange juice. Uh, I hate wasting juices and drinks and stuff, so I'm only going to do a little bit because I don't like wasting things. So we're just going to spill a little bit there, just not too much. There you go, so you can see clearly that there's some orange juice there. So we're going to try and clean up on the laminate flooring now, wooden flooring. So laminate and wooden flooring, let's see how it performs. Uh, obviously I'm going to do it on maximum. And what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to carry on using the machine on maximum around the house on all the different floorings until the battery is dead or until the dirty water tank is full. And then at the end I'm going to show you how much we picked up around the house. Auto mode. So, switch it on. Bang, just gone just like that, honestly. It's so, so quick. So you can see, just from my little experiment, all we've done was a few flooring and the battery's lost 9% already. On charging base. Oh, that's because I pressed the button and I pressed the self-cleaning button so it tells me to put it on the charging base when it starts self-cleaning. But, as you can see, we've only used it for a little while and it's already gone down by 9%. So, it's very, very juicy on the battery. It, it does drink, so it does last about half an hour. So what it does stay on the box is actually true. It does last about half an hour. So I'm going to use the device for about half an hour. Uh, so I'm going to use it until the dirty water tank is full or until the battery has died and then we're going to see what the final outcome is. I'm going to use it on carpet, I'm going to use it on the marble flooring, the tiles and also the hardwood flooring here and we're going to see how much dirt we pick up and accumulate. Right, so I've used it, uh, we've got the battery to around 89% and it said please clean dirty water tank and stop working. So when the dirty water tank gets full it will stop working and it basically tells us to clean it. Uh, so what's remained of this, so we use 11 11% battery, uh, mixed it between max power and uh, auto, but we still have half of, of the water left, which is pretty good. And because we made spillages, obviously it sucked the spillage water, so that's why the dirty tank filled up quicker. So do keep that in mind, obviously, when you're making spillages, it's sucking the spillage, so obviously it will fill up quicker. Uh, this is what's left of the dirty water tank. Nasty, look at that. All bits of nasty in there. So if I pull this tab up here, you can separate them. You can see all the dust, fibers, and hair, and just 
pure dirt it's picked up. The water's literally turned black. The only reason it is this colour, uh, purpley, pinky colour, is because of the drink. But it's actually turned black and grey and dusty and ugh. Very, very dirty. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to empty out the tank, clean it up. I'm going to empty and clean the filter and then I'm going to chuck it back in. I'm going to go through the self-cleaning process and where it's going to fill up again because we're going to be cleaning the actual uh, vacuum cleaner now. So let's go. Right, so I've cleaned the dirty water tank out. I've cleared it out. So I actually picked up so much, so much dirt and so much hair and dust. It was very, very dirty. Um, but yeah, we've cleaned the dirty water tank out now. And all that's left to do is the self-cleaning process. We're done with the Hoover. We're done with today. We've done the cleaning. We're going to do the self-cleaning process, but before I do that, I'm just going to go through my opinion on the actual vacuum cleaner itself. I think it is very, very good. I mean, there's not many products that make me go, wow, like this is cool, but this is one of those products. It generally made me go, wow, this is pretty cool, and it's a vacuum cleaner. It's nothing special, you know, who would have thought a vacuum cleaner would make someone go, wow, this is pretty cool. So it, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it charges really quick as well. It takes about a good hour, hour and a half to charge, which is a decent amount of time considering what you're charging. Um, as in, it's only been here for about five, six minutes and it's already gone up 2% charge, which is absolutely amazing. So, it is very good. It is a very good product. Very simple, very easy to use, very useful as well. And honestly, I don't think I really give reviews like this, but I'm actually going to give it a 10 out of 10. I don't, I, you know my videos, I very rarely give it a 10 out of 10 overall score. And I think I'm going to give this a TNN score of 10 out of 10. I think it's a very good product. Um, only downside is it is a little bit dear on the price range. It is quite dear, but you get what you paid for. Like It's not like you're paying a lot of money and you're not getting good stuff. You're getting the best quality stuff right now. This is absolutely ace quality. This is really, really good stuff. So, I mean, you pay that money, you're getting something really, really quality and really good. So... Yeah, 10 out of 10, I think it's defo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the cleaning process. So I'm just going to press and hold the clean button on top for three seconds and it should start cleaning. And we'll go ahead and see what it does. Cool, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold this button here. Start self-cleaning. There we go. And it will start doing its self-cleaning. So it's cleaning the roller right now. And you can see it's shaking, spinning the roller. And then it will start cleaning the internal system and then we'll see how much it picks up at the end of the cleaning process. So. Self-cleaning cycle complete. Please clean dirty water tank and debris channel. Basically what I was going to say, the device just felt like saying it anyway. So, the self-cleaning process is done and it basically takes out all the dirty water from the system, which is this over here. Look at that grey, black, dirty water. And that's what it's taken out of the system right now. So, that is what we're going to go ahead and clean. So, it took about two minutes to do the self-cleaning process, which is pretty quick. And what that does is it cleans the roller, it cleans the whole internal system inside the device and it does a deep clean just to make sure everything is nice and clean inside. That way there's no dirty odours or anything like that. And what it does is it uses the water and the cleaning solution inside the top module, um, the top container, and basically cleans the system out. So that's that. That is it with this device. There's not much more to it, of course. You then have the cleaning brush where you can clean certain sections just to make sure it's all nice and clean. But that is it really with this device. There's not much more to it. And I think it's absolutely amazing. I think it's a really, really cool piece of tech. It is, it's definitely something really cool to show off and have in your house. It is quite smart. It is very cool. Um, yes, it's quite pricey, but tell me where else you're going to find something like this. I, I guarantee most of you probably don't know where you can find something like this because this is one of a kind. It's definitely a one of a kind product. Um, so yeah, overall score 10 out of 10. If you're interested in purchasing this, link to buy will be down below in the description. If I also have any discount codes, I'll throw them down there as well. But other than that, we'd just like to say thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry it's been quite a long video, but I want it to be in the most informative video and show everything about this device. So yeah, that's that. And I hope you guys like the video and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe too. Thank you.